up everybody it's Roya I'm back for another video as you guys can see here by the title today's video is going to be a favorites video which is definitely long overdue for me um I was looking in my like series of videos or whatever and I was like I think it's been since last time this year since I did a favorites which is just highly disrespectful um highly disrespectful so I did come up with a few things that I have been loving specifically for this particular month um, because they were things that I felt like I needed to talk about. Some things that I have hauled for you guys here um, in the last few hauls that I've done. So I know you would like to know if they're good, if they're working, blah, 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 those types of things. So without any further ado, we're going to jump right into the favorite. The first thing I want to share with you guys is a face spray. You guys know how I feel about my facial sprays. I love, 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 love the Mario Badescu facial sprays. I have all three of them. I want to say they make four or five of them now, but I do own three that I use on a regular basis. However, comma, this has stopped me from using them all. It has been literally a month. Today is the first day that I pulled out one of my Mario Badescu sprays to use this morning when I was getting ready for the day. I've been loving this. This is the Evian Facial Spray. It moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. I was very skeptical about this, especially for 20 bucks. Um, it is a 10 fluid ounce, but for $20 compared to my normal seven, I was like, this shit better work. Um, I love this, y'all. I love, love, love this. Now, I know you're thinking like, it's just water. What can it really be doing for your face? When I tell you this leaves me feeling hydrated, balanced, toned, refreshed, um, the other day I took Caden to the park and we were out there for a good like two, two and a half hours. You know, kids come to the park, they run, they play, they make friends, they don't want to leave, this, that, and the third. So we were there for several hours. I didn't have on any makeup. I did wear some SPF, but when I tell you guys, when we got back in the house for me to, you know, give him his bath and get him ready for dinner and everything, I sprayed this on my face and I instantly, instantly felt rejuvenated like I instantly felt a thousand times better and I highly attribute it to just spraying this on my face and going I use this as a toner I use it during my makeup routine I use it to refresh makeup um all of that I really really like this when it's gone I'm definitely going to buy another one and I think what I'm gonna do is maybe not buy so many of my Mario Badescu sprays and kind of buy this one since it is bigger I want to actually I'm in the bathroom now so this is the green tea one that i got from nordstrom as you guys can see i have not put a, a huge dent in it but of course i also have the rose one which i have used a good amount of and then the nighttime one which i've used a good deal of that one too but these are only four ounces compared to this one which is 10 so i figure i could kind of put this in the rotation and then maybe i won't go through the other ones as quickly but if you're looking for a really good summer refreshing spray this also comes in a smaller size i want to say they sell like a two ounce that you can keep in your purse which i'm thinking about getting one of those too um i highly suggest this i know it seems like it's just water but trust me trust me when i tell you it is way more than just water just the next skincare item that i want to talk about and i'm gonna try to go in order um but the next skincare item i want to talk about is this clinique moisturizer this is the moisture surge treatment um it's the moisture surge extended thirst relief moisturizer i got this in a sample size i don't remember why i got it in a sample size i really don't it had to be from the multitude of shopping that i do but i have been loving this i'm definitely going to get a bigger size of it um i honestly don't know when i'm going to get a bigger size of it because i am currently using another moisturizer that i love as well but this is definitely something that i want to have it's more of a treatment in my opinion i'm thinking that in the fall and winter it will probably be even better to use this because it kind of like primes your face for makeup it's just really good it's hydrating my face doesn't feel like slick greasy when i use it so i use this this morning but i can also use this at night i will probably use it after i film this video because i'm not gonna lie the day is over for me y'all suited and booted it's time to get relaxed okay so i'll probably be taking my face off as soon as i'm done with this video because i have a gym session in about two and a half hours so and i don't go to the gym in makeup but 
and this moisturizer is very very good um it's definitely good to like prime your face before makeup it's good at night and it's good during the day it's good all the way around so i wouldn't put it in a specific category of you've got to use it day or night or whatever um i feel like all skin types can use this my face feels just like a baby's bottom after i've used this it it, it puts this like shield over your face that's really really good so highly recommend this this is the clinique moisture surge moisturizer sticking with skincare i wanted to talk about a serum that i have been using lately now this is a hidden gem y'all hear me when i tell you that i'm about to bless you with a hidden gem love okay this is the creme de skin nutrition's hyaluronic acid 1% plus vitamin C serum. It's a hydration, radiant, and antioxidant serum. Um, it says it's a chemical, blah, it is not a chemical. It is a clinical formula to improve skin's texture, clarity, and add intense moisture and balance skin's brightness and whiteness. I love this, but this is the reason this is a hidden gem, y'all. Wait for it. Wait for it, because I'm coming with it. It was a dollar. Girl, it was a dollar. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Can y'all believe? Now, it is not re retailing for a dollar. I want to say this retail when I was looking it up, somewhere between the $25 and $45 price range. However, I got mine from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It comes in a dropper, like so. I'm not gonna lie, I am more than halfway through this. That's how much I've been using it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I've already purchased another one to back it up because I love this and I'm looking for some more. I don't know why at a dollar I don't just buy like seven of them, but my fear is that I'll start using another serum and then now I've just got seven of these stashed away for no reason. <laughs> but if I see it again, I am gonna buy it. This helped my skin a lot. I've been using this actually a little over a month. I had some hyperpigmentation right here. I had a situation going on here that has been completely rectified. Um, I do have a new situation that happened, cycle time, you know, um, but I know that this is gonna help it because it's helped everything else. I don't break out severely. I don't have like super acne prone skin, but if you're looking for something that's gonna add a little bit of radiance to your skin, help with some hyperpigmentation or discoloration that you're having and you're on a budget, okay, girl? I wasn't really on a budget, but shit, I am now. <laughs> like, this is a dollar. Like, you can't go wrong with it. You really, really can't. So I will try to find it and link it for you guys below. But just know that if you look in your local Dollar Tree, you will definitely be able to find this. Okay, so I'm gonna move into some hair stuff. I wanna talk about this edge control. This is the Ebene Extreme Firm Hold edge control this is made in italy i get it from my local beauty supply store it's 7.99 and it is crack baby okay <laughs> like this is some good shit y'all if you're a 4c natural 4c d e f g natural and you can't get them edges lay baby look at them edges look at, look, look look i had to let that atlanta come out for y'all because that look at them edges i mean they're beautiful it's because of this I have been struggling since going natural to find something that was going to hold my edges down because nothing does. This holds them down. If you are looking for a really, really, really good edge control that's not going to flake on you and be... That's Kaden coming up the stairs. Um, but if you're looking for an edge control that is going to hold you down, girl, that's what it need to be called. Hold you down, girl. Because this is holding me down. I've been, as you can see, picking through it, digging through it. Like, it's life for me. I love it. This is my second jar of it. I think it's the best. If I can find it, I'm going to link it down below for y'all. Um, this is the Extreme Firm Hold with the purple cap. I want to say they have a green cap, a yellow cap, a red cap, a black cap, I think. But this one's the best. For me and it helped me achieve this high puff that we got going on today keeping on the trend of hair i wanted to talk about my favorite shampoo as of late it's the manuka honey and yogurt hydrate and repair shampoo from shea moisture you guys heard, uh, heard me talk about this when i announced my brand ambassadorship with them they have sent me a ton of products since that i'm reviewing for you guys currently i will have reviews of them coming up soon 
but this is bomb. I'm definitely going to do a full review on this as well. This is so hydrating for me. I have 4C hair. My hair gets very thirsty, very dehydrated, very stressed. Okay. And this is the bomb. This is the bomb. I like shampoos that leave my hair feeling hydrated and this does not disappoint me. I love it. I highly suggest it. Even if you're not 4C, if you're 4A, 4B, 3C, 3Z, whatever, it's still a really, really good hydrating moisturizer. But I, I when I'm talking to y'all, I like to speak to the ones that are, you know, you're experiencing the same things I'm experiencing. Because in a 4C hair world, it is very hard to find products that are geared for us that are really going to do what we need them to do to our hair. So I highly suggest this. This is what it looks like. I will leave it linked below for you guys. This is an amazing shampoo. I'm not a big co-washer anymore. I really shampoo every week, every wash day. And this has been utterly amazing. I use it on Caden's hair as well. And I have had no issues. So really Okay, good so next I want to talk about some um, makeup some lip specific things um, first. And this, what's on my lips today? Buxom's Moscow Mule. You guys are with me when I haul this. I purchased this during the, it was some kind of Ulta sale. Um, this is life. I'm definitely gonna pick up another one. Don't know when because I have so many lip products. It's insane. Like it's, it should be a crime. It should be a crime. My boyfriend gets on me all the time. Like girl, you don't need no more lip products but i love them nonetheless this has been amazing this is like my go-to nude because it just fits my my skin tone so well um and when in the summertime i'm very nude in color on my lips so the buxom moscow mule has been my favorite y'all definitely if you're looking for a good brown girl friendly nude get your hands on that another brown girl friendly nude now this one's a little more expansive so but it's the chanel glossomer this is in the there we go this is in the shade 716 caramel this is like my shit. like i love this it's so pretty it's just a nice pinky nude and for us brown girls it tear it on up okay i actually was wearing this when i first put my look together and then on my way home i threw this on um so very versatile but these have been my two favorites these are the only things only glosses that have been in my purse for like over a month so really loving those and then the next thing is a lip conditioner. Now, I hauled this a while ago, but I just recently started using it because I ran out of the Dior Creme de Rose lip pot. And when I went to go repurchase it, the girl said it's been discontinued. Like, I felt a way. Like, I felt a whole way. I did. Um... I don't know. So I ended up uh, putting this on my nightstand. I pulled it out of my stash. I've been putting this on my lips every single night and waking up and my lips feel like amazing, which is the same reason that I was using the Dior Creme de Rose um, and it will leave my lips feeling the same way. So I will say that if you guys are looking for something comparable to that in the same price range, because they're the same price, $30, Try the Erin Rose Lip Conditioner. It's by Estee Lauder and it's very, very good and very comparable to that. I'm still looking for other products to replace that product, but for right now, I am um, getting my needs fulfilled um, without having my Christian Dior Creme de Rose by using the Erin Rose Lip Conditioner. Okay, I've got a few more makeup products. The first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof liquid eyeliner i have really been adoring this i do have it on my eyes today i like this because it literally does not budge it does not move but it gives you the best wing it get it, it girl anybody could do a winged eyeliner with this eyeliner it's the tip it's the felt tip on it that is just amazing amazing like it just makes it so so easy to glide on. I really, really like this. It's super dark, um, which is another thing that I really like about it. It's not, um, sometimes they're like a flat mat on your, on your, um, on your, on your lid and you don't necessarily want that. 
The only reason it came off this easily is because I got it while it was wet and sprayed it. But once it dries, it is not going anywhere. I actually have to use a cleansing oil to get this off. So if you're looking for a really good waterproof felt tip eyeliner, try the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner because it is a bomb. I want to talk to you guys about a blush. I am wearing it today. I'm not going to lie. The camera is washing it out a little bit. I've had this in my collection for several years, but I just recently like got back into it. It's the Marc Jacobs um, Shameless Blush in 216 Rebellious. It's really, really pretty. And it's just that perfect, perfect like raspberry tone. So for the summer, it's actually been very nice on me. So I've been loving this. I've been wearing it a lot. First, I was wearing Chanel's Malice, but I don't know. I've just been picking this up for the last few weeks when I do my makeup. So I really, really like it. Last in beauty, I want to talk about what's on my eyelashes. This is the Lancome Seals Booster XL. This is their eyel uh, yeah, eyelash primer. I've been using it in conjunction with the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara and Been In Love. Really, really like this. I definitely think it's worth it. I've tried several um, formulas like this, uh, things, products similar to this. This is the only one that's actually really worked for me. So I will definitely repurchase this. And I will say for over a month, every time I have put on mascara, I have used this first. And that's saying a lot because when I use products like this, after a few weeks, if it's not working for me, I'll just stop using it. But I literally don't do my mascara without that. So, love. The next thing I want to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills ma uh, mascara concealer. I have it in this shade 6.5. I hauled this months ago. I just recently started using it a lot because, you know, summertime, I think I have a little bit of a warmer tone to my skin. So, when I go for my under eye area, my Dior concealer was looking a little bit stark. So what I've been doing is mixing this in and because the Dior is a little more matte, this has been helping because it's very hydrating. So loving this. I've been wearing this the entire month every time I put on any type of makeup. So love. I also wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about this. It is a, what is this, a highlighter? I am also wearing it today. It is the Kevin Aquan, uh, the Neo highlighter in Sahara. It's the one with the golden rose tones. Looks like this. I hauled this back around Mother's Day is when I got it. Love it, or was it for the VIB sale? I can't remember. Either way, love it. I've been wearing it all month long. Anytime I've had to do um, my makeup, this has been my highlighter. I haven't chosen anything different now i want to talk about some lifestyle things so in a few vlogs ago you guys heard me talk about this wallet that i got recently um this is the mcm maya bifold snap wallet that's a mouthful i love this thing it's amazing the glazing on it is amazing and it's been like my little go-to wallet I normally carry a bigger full-size wallet, something way more girthy, um, but this has been my go-to because it's so easy to handle, and I could just go. I could go to the gym, I've got, and it holds, y'all. I got cards for days in here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I got cards for days in here, and it's not bulky. It's not overdoing it. The pop of color is in the color Scarlet Red. If I can find it, I will try to leave it linked below just does the, the cameras are not even doing it any justice this is my favorite especially for running to the gym running to the grocery store like it's just so easy peasy and i don't need my whole handbag so speaking love. of handbags i wanted to mention if you follow me on instagram then you've seen this countless times i wanted to mention a handbag that i got from amazon um i got it from lamb gallery i will definitely leave the link down below for you guys this is the clear handbag it's all the craze uh and rage last year I finally got one this year. Y'all know I be late on the bandwagon because I don't really like riding bandwagons, okay? Um, however, this is amazing. I love this. I've just recently transitioned out of it. I had a meeting today, so I couldn't wear this. I needed something a little bigger for paperwork and stuff. But this, oh, I love this little thing. It holds all of my stuff so, so well. Um, I will say the only downside is that you're going to need to keep it clean. Because it's plastic, the film part can get a little rusty. Um, 
I just, I don't even know why I put this wallet in here. But it's amazing nonetheless. I really, really love this bag. I will leave it below. It's perfect for the summer. So if you're looking for a summer bag, definitely get your hands on this one. I've been rocking mine nonstop since I got it. And it's been over a month since I got this bag. So love. The thing I want to talk about is a pair of sunglasses. I got these from BP at Nordstrom and they have just been the best cheapy sunnies ever. Y'all know I love me a good high-end pair of sunglasses. Tom Ford, Celine, you name it. Ray-Bans. I just love high-end sunglasses. But these babies for 16 bucks were perfect. I love them. I've been wearing them nonstop since I got them, which was around Mother's Day and they're just fabulous styling. Um, I will leave these linked below for you as well because I feel like if you're looking for a good aviator and you're like me who I spend money on sunglasses but I was not spending money on aviators they just feel flimsy to me. Um, so if you're looking for a good inexpensive pair I will leave those linked below for you guys. Next I want to talk about some like drink items. Um, I have been loving the Newman's Own Organic Coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. I love, 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 love coffee. I love Starbucks. Um, but in the morning before heading out for the day, I like to make my own. I think it's just more cost effective and it doesn't leave me going to Starbucks twice a day instead, maybe once, maybe not even for the day. Um, so I have been loving this. Definitely try this out if you're a big coffee head and you're specific about your coffee and you don't like a huge artificial taste. When I discovered this, I actually ordered two more boxes. I love this stuff. This is very, very good. And I've been using drinking this for over a month. I, I love, love this. I really Even in the uh, department of drinks, I wanted to talk about some teas that I have recently discovered. I also love tea. I like tea specifically in the evening times. It kind of just calms you down and relaxes me. Nobody needs to be drinking a glass of wine every night. How about every other night and then supplement tea in between? Um, that's me. Anyways, so I've been loving this. I started with this one. It's the Tiavana Jasmine Citrus Mint um, Green Tea Blend with Spearmint and Lemongrass love it and then i moved on to the peach tranquility this is the newest one i got it's more of an herbal tea this is a green tea but these are very very good and i've been enjoying them both i actually like the fact that they are sachets and the ingredients are all in there so love these and have been living off these this one I just repurchased and this one I just got, but love. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is something that I've been using on our bed. It's a luxury room and linen spray. I actually got this from TJ Maxx. It's by Abby and Sullivan. Um, it's in this scent, living, bleh, lavender vanilla. And I really like this because I change our seats. I try to do them once a week. And this just makes the sheets smell so inviting and puts us to sleep so much quicker. And I really think it's the lavender in this spray. Because when it's all throughout your sheets and then you've got lavender diffusing in the room, a candle going, like it just helps with the ambiance. Um, so I've really, really, really been liking this. I just recently started using it because I was using something else, but I will definitely repurchase this. And I've actually been looking forward to using this. That's how much I like it. So really been enjoying this. I wanted to quickly tell you guys the fragrance that I have been wearing all month long. Today is the first day, literally the first day that I did not wear it. Today I wore a uh, low number five by Chanel. This is Burberry's Weekend. I love this. I've been wearing this out. This is like my favorite thing ever. It is like the epitome of summer. If you can run by a counter and smell it, definitely do. Um, stop in Burberry and try it out. I stopped in Burberry a few weeks back and I am looking into trying some perfumes that have been on my list for a while. Um, love, love, love this. So if you can get your hands on Burberry Weekend, definitely. And then last but not least, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some pajamas. Um, I have been in love with this brand from Walmart. It is called, um, here we go. It's called Secret Treasures. I got this shirt in a large. It's a sleep shirt and I got, these are not the matching shorts. They're interchangeable by the same brand. And they have little elephants on them and they also have pockets. 
I am in love with Walmart sleepwear. So that is just a favorite in general, all of their sleepwear. If it's by the Secret Treasures brand, definitely pick it up because I've been in love with everything that they've been doing here lately when it comes to sleepwear. I'm big on sleepwear. I've always been big on sleepwear. I love my loungewear. Um, and this is some of the best loungewear that you can get your hands on. I got all my stuff for clearance. This was like a dollar. I want to say the shirt was like a dollar or two. Um, marked down from like $14 and $15.99. Softest material ever. I've washed this shirt a thousand times. It comes back great every time. Feels good on your skin. It's great to lounge around in. It's great to roll around in the bed in. It's just good stuff. These have been my favorite and I've only been wearing Secret Treasure pajamas all month long. So that says a lot. All right, you guys, that is everything that I wanted to show you here. These are all the things that I have been loving for the month of June. I will try to keep on my bandwagon, okay, <laughs> um, of doing favorites videos. So I will definitely try to have a favorites for you guys next month. As always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. And I will see you guys in my next video.